Let us discuss the stereochemistry of compounds with axial chirality and their R and S configuration. See, molecules with the chiral center will have four different ligands around the chiral center. Four different ligands around the chiral center. Such molecules are usually referred to as disymmetric molecule. Okay. Then, if you replace this chiral center with a linear grouping such as C single bond C or C double bond C double bond C, the normal tetrahedron becomes elongated. The normal tetrahedron becomes elongated. That is, if we replace this chiral center with the linear grouping such as C single bond C, or C double bond C double bond C like this, the normal tetrahedron becomes elongated. Right? Such a system is considered to have a chiral axis passing through these linear groupings from one end to another end. For such an elongated tetrahedra in which an axial axis of chirality is based. It is the axis of chirality which is passing through these linear groupings from one end to other end. Such molecules are considered to have an axial axis of chirality. For such a system, such an elongated tetrahedral system in which axial chirality is based, the condition for chirality is less stringent. The condition for chirality is less stringent. Right? For such molecules, it need not to have all the four ligands are different as in molecules with the chiral center. You can have same pair of ligands at both ends. C for example, AB, AB, it need not to have four different ligands attached to this system, but we can have similar pairs of ligands such as AB and AB at both ends of such systems. Okay. Examples of molecules with the axis of chirality are allenes substituted by phenyls, spirines, alkylidine cyclohexene, uh, alkylidine, alkylidine cycloalkene, etc. Now let us discuss the stereochemistry of allene. See the structure of allene. CH2 double bond C double bond CH2. Here this central carbon atom is sp hybridized while the terminal carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized the central carbon atom uses its two sp hybridized orbitals for making bonds sigma bonds with the terminal carbon atoms two carbon carbon sigma bonds are formed using sp hybridized orbitals of central carbon atom this central carbon atom consists of two unhybridized p orbital which will lie in a mutually perpendicular plane here it is indicated blue and black lobes for the orbitals unhybridized p orbitals these are the unhybridized p orbitals which lie in mutually perpendicular planes that means this blue in one plane which will be perpendicular to this molecular uh, unhybridized p orbital which lie perpendicular to this blue uh, this orbital marked as blue it is black which will perpendicular to which will be perpendicular to this blue orbital right The terminal carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. Two sp2 hybridized orbitals are used for bond formation with the hydrogen atom. 
the remaining 1 sp2 hybridized orbital overlap with the sp hybridized orbital of central carbon atom forming a sigma bond carbon carbon sigma bond this carbon carbon sigma bond right each of the terminal carbon atoms remains an unhybridized p orbital which lie perpendicular to these ch2 planes okay now this unhybridized p orbital of terminal carbon atoms will overlap with unhybridized p orbital of the central carbon atom which lie in the same plane of each of the unhybridized terminal p orbital making two pi bonds pi bonds but these pi bonds are lying in mutually perpendicular planes okay this type of bond formation makes the terminal ch2 group of ali to lay in a mutually perpendicular plane right thus ali gives its non superimposable mirror image forms right thus substituted alenes are resolvable or chiral unsubstituted alenes have vertical plane of symmetry in each of the planes each of the ch2 groups at the terminals will have a vertical plane of symmetry and hence unsubstituted alenes have uh, alenes are achiral but substituted alenes are resolvable or chiral right now see the examples of chiral alene here uh, substitution at the terminal ch2 groups on bo uh, both sides ch3 ch3 uh it gives it's not super impossible mirror image form see this terminal groups ch ch cch3 is in horizontal plane while this terminal group cch3 ch group is in vertical plane that is mutually perpendicular to each other these terminal groups are mutually perpendicular to each other this makes it's a uh, mirror image a non superimposable mirror image form or it gives enantiomers because of this type of uh, geometry okay it is another chiral uh, allene this gives its non superimposable mirror image form or enantiomers similar to the first case this is another example okay now let us discuss the stereochemistry of biphenyl it is a structure of simple biphenyl molecule here two phenyl rings are joined by a pivotal bond or a, or a carbon carbon single bond it is the planar structure each of these phenyl rings can rotate about this uh, pivotal Uh, through this pivotal bond carbon carbon bond with respect to other uh, benzene ring okay but if we substitute the ortho and ortho dash positions of these two phenyl rings with the bulky groups the free rotation becomes restricted and uh, the bulky groups will lay as far apart as possible to each other this makes each of the ring to lie in a mutually perpendicular plane for example you can see this example here the ortho and ortho dash positions are substituted respectively by nitro group and the coh group these are bulky groups during the rotation this nitro group and coh group uh getting interacted or there will be steric interaction between these groups in order to minimize this steric interaction 
these groups lie in a mutually perpendicular plane or this makes the ring to exist in a mutually perpendicular planes okay as in the case of ali the substituted by the, by phenyl also believed to have a chiral axis passing through the molecule through the carbon carbon single bond from one end to other end thereby substituted by phenyl also can be considered as molecules with the chiral axis molecules with the chiral axis right molecules with the chiral axis usually exhibit enantiomerism and hence it forms this molecule forms its non superimposable mirror image form like this and so these two are enantiomers similarly another example is this it is another example of substituted by phenyl exhibiting enantiomerism these two phenyl rings are lying in mutually perpendicular planes and hence this molecule also exhibit enantiomerism one of the important condition for biphenyls to be chiral is uh, the sub substituent must be bulkier sufficiently bulkier in order to prevent the rotation in the carbon carbon bond in the carbon carbon bond here this molecule containing hydrogen atom and fluorine atom at the ortho and ortho dash positions this fluorine and hydrogen are very small and hence rotation may be taken place through the carbon carbon uh, pivotal bond and hence this molecule is not resolved this molecule cannot be resolved because of the possible rotation between the carbon carbon bond or pivotal bond right spirenes and alkylidene cycloalkanes are also examples for compounds with axial chirality if the carbon carbon double bonds in ali are substituted with the ring systems we get spirenes for example it is a simple spirene molecule simple spirene molecule but simple spirenes are non resolvable because each of the rings may contain vertical plane of symmetry vertical plane of symmetry because this end carb end methylene groups are symmetrical the bonds are symmetrical ch ch bonds are both are similar bonds and hence there may be a vertical plane of symmetry in each of the ring but if we substitute the terminal hydrogen atoms or the hydrogen atom of terminal ch2 groups with the substituents the molecules will no longer have vertical plane of symmetry and uh, the rings lie in mutually perpendicular planes and forms the or exhibit enantiomerism because this molecule also has a plane of symmetry i, I mean ax uh, a chiral axis passing through the molecule and hence spirene substituted spirene is also a chiral molecule another example of molecule spirene molecule or resolvable spirene molecule is 
this one too. Right? If one of the carbon carbon double bond in the allene is substituted by a ring, then we will get alkylidine cycloalkene. Alkylidine cycloalkene is also another example of molecules with a chiral axis. See, this ring is perpendicular to carbon carbon, the, the plane of this ring is perpendicular to plane of carbon carbon double bond. And hence, this molecule also exhibits enantiomerism or forms its non superimposable mirror image forms. Okay. It is another alkylidine cycloalkene molecule. This also having a chiral axis passing through the molecule, and hence this molecule also exhibit enantiomerism or chirality. Okay. See, this molecule is also a spirine, a diketo spirine. Diketo spirine. This molecule also a chiral molecule. Okay. With this, I conclude this session. In the next video, I will discuss the determination of RNS configuration of axially chiral compounds. Thank you for listening. Thank you.